All right, that uh, sharp finger is sold. I gotta make a sheath for it. And uh, the same person that bought that wants two more neck knives made from the same wood. And I got that right here. And uh, so this is sold, these three are sold. So I will have a large neck knife and two sharp fingers that I'm gonna be working on that are not spoken for yet. And uh, I got the holes drilled, I got everything cut out. And uh, the next step would be uh, reaming out all my drill holes to, uh, what is it, 0 0.2600. And then flaring the holes and then uh, grinding my bevels on. But I'm stopping right now, I'm gonna go get my chainsaw and cut that stump down and cut that log up. My wife is working on that fire, getting that fire going again over there. And uh, that's what I'm doing today. So when I come back after that stump, I'm going to uh, make a sheath. All right, I got that whittled down. I got that cut in half. Now I gotta pick these up and this tree's done. All right, this tree's next. And the reason these are coming down is because they're falling apart. They're old. As a matter of fact, this one right here, I'm gonna zoom in, had a huge piece fall. And just luckily it fell this direction and not towards the house. So we're gonna take that one down. And uh, this one has had multiple limbs fall off it over the years. On the other side, there's a big limb that fell off of it. They've uh, they've reached the end of their life, and that's what these Bradford pears, they're just a 25-year a tree. In the last five years of their life, that's what they do is spit limbs out and heavy, heavy, heavy limbs. So uh, I just cut this one. Me and my wife clean that up. I'm fixing to cut another big one on the, on the other side. It's going to fall that way, and I think we can get that today. And then... Uh, friend of mine is going to loan me his uh, long pruning chainsaw. It's got a six or eight foot boom on it. And I got to start taking these down one limb at a time because there's no safe direction to drop this tree. And all the weight is on this side and I'm right beside, this is the garage and that is her shed. So there's just, there's no way to make the tree fall that way. So I got to take it down a piece at a time, which is not a big deal. I can do it. So we're gonna get what we can with the chainsaw, which today will be a limb around the other side there. And uh, that'll be it for today. It'll probably take us a week to get this down. It took us a week to get the other tree finished. Probably take us a week to do this and about the same to do that. Uh, that oak tree there is growing over her house but the reason all the limbs are going that way is because this pear tree is smothering it if we cut this bradford pear down this will start growing some limbs out and it might pull that tree back up straight and uh and it's not so big that we won't be so old that uh you know I will be dead and gone before that tree becomes a problem. I will get up on a roof and make sure the limbs are cut back away from her roof. That's the, the main thing. Okay, I'm taking a break. My wife is gonna take a break at the house, pet the dog, and uh, then we're gonna cut this last limb down here. Well, we got as much picked up as we can without having a ridiculously sized fire, so. And uh, we have burn days that we have to worry about. And Sunday's not a burn day. I believe Monday is. So uh, we'll get the rest of that picked up Monday. And right now, I'm going to ream all these holes. <coughs> holes out. <coughs> Smoke's getting to me. One, two, six, oh. And then I got to uh, flare the holes. I do that so the epoxy sets in there and really grabs a hold of the pins. And then I'm gonna go make a sheath. I'm taking a long break. I'm drinking two bottles of water. And uh, 
then I'm gonna get to work. Okay, I've got my holes reamed out. I've got them flared. I've got my grind lines scribed. I've got the center line scribed. I've got the plunge line scribed. Now, I have just absolutely worn myself out today, cutting that, cut two giant limbs down, picked up the logs, the biggest part, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything else today. I am absolutely exhausted. And what's happening is uh, when I work this hard, my and I stop, my arms and legs just shake like a leaf. It's going to take me a while to get back into, back into shape, I guess. So I'm going to sit here a little while longer. And uh, here's what happens. If I go home early, I sit up at the house and wish I hadn't left the shop so early. And uh, so I'm going to sit here a little while longer and see if I, I can't come up with enough energy to make a sheath. Because really, if I do anything tomorrow, that'll be all I do is work on that sheath. I'm not going to start these yet. Uh, the buy the fellow that bought the sharp finger wants uh, two neck knives. Uh, this one is sold. I don't have. This is uh, the bigger neck knife, the four finger neck knife. These are the three finger. And uh, I got two more sharp fingers started. Oh God, I'm exhausted. I don't know what to do. I may go sit in the front porch for a little while. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. I'm done for the day. Have a good Sunday, y'all.